This is a 49-year-old male with progressive upper dysphagia for five years, including both solids and liquids. His symptoms are worse with dry foods and eating quickly. His symptoms mainly involve dysphagia and also choking, and these symptoms affect 90% of his quality of life. A recent esophagram showed a 10 by 5 centimeter Zenker's diverticulum. Here is the septum of the diverticulum with the esophageal lumen to the right. The septum once again and the large diverticular sac to the left. In anticipation of using the SB knife, I mark both the starting point and the extent of the initial incision, which is about one-third the length of the diverticulum. Almost to a mark. That's that's muscle right there. Stop right there. Put a little one. Put a little one. Right there. You can start closing. Closing, closing, closing. Let's pull. After four strokes with the SB knife, the mucosal incision is complete and the myotomy is already well started. Please note the larger septal muscle on the left and the smaller muscularis propria on the right. We now switch to the TTJ knife for submucosal tunneling an extension of the myotomy of the muscularis propria down to the base of the diverticulum. Now I've completed the myotomy of the muscularis propria all the way down to the base of the diverticulum with the esophageal submucosa on the right. Coming back to the top of the remaining septum, on the left is the diverticular side that's already dissected, on the right the esophageal side that's well dissected, and now I'm ready to complete the septal myotomy all the way down to the base of the diverticulum.
Here you can see I've extended the myotomy down to the very last fiber. Now it's time to close the mucosal incision. Using a total of nine 13 millimeter clips, the incision is closed. At his three month follow-up, the patient was doing extremely well with near complete resolution of his dysphagia. Thank you.